I'm Brennan from 3D Infotech, and today I'll be discussing probe compensation. Probing devices take their measured data points at the center of the probe tip, not where the probe tip actually contacts the part. Luckily, there are two methods to compensate for this phenomenon. There are the compensation point method and the probe orientation method. Different devices will default to one of these two methods. If you're unsure of which one your device uses, you can check by going to the Options button in Polyworks. And then in the Probing Device tab, we have Compensation Method. The drop down at the top will show you what you're currently using, and you can swap between Probe Orientation and Compensation Point as desired. For this video, I'll demonstrate Compensation Point. I'll start off by demonstrating a good and bad plane compensation. But first, let's look at this graphic of what's actually happening. Now, as you can see, when you take probe points, they don't lie on the surface of your part. Once again, they're at the center of the probe tip. Now, good compensation involves moving the probe tip away from the surface of your part and compensating. Bad probe compensation involves probing your plane once more, but moving your probe tip below the surface of the plane you're probing and compensating there. Let's see what that looks like on an actual part. I'll start off with the correct compensation method. Once again, I'll just probe my plane to start off with, and then I'll move my probe tip away from the surface of my part, compensate. Now for the incorrect compensation method, I will now move my probe tip into or below the surface of the plane and compensate down here. Let's examine those two planes that I just probed. We can clearly see that our bad plane lies nowhere near the surface of our part, whereas the good plane lies where it should be, which is on the surface of our part. This is due to where I compensated my probe and the direction it offset my probe points. Next, we'll demonstrate with a cylinder. Cylinders function very similarly, as we can see. Again, the probe point will be first taken at the center of the probe tip. This will result in a circle that is either slightly smaller or slightly larger than your actual feature. Now for correct probe compensation, we will once again move our probe tip away from the surface. In the case of this internal feature, it would be towards the center of our cylinder. Incorrect probe compensation is the exact opposite. For an internal feature, we would move our probe outside. So let's demonstrate on a real part with an internal feature. Once again, I'll start off with the correct method and end with the improper method. Now, as I mentioned before, for an internal feature, we'll be moving our probe tip away from the surface, which involves moving it towards the center of the cylinder. Compensate there. Now for the incorrect probe compensation method, once again, probe my cylinder. But I will now move outward from the surface which is outside of the cylinder, compensate there. Examining our cylinder features, we can see that like the plane, one lies on the correct surface and one is in space relative to our part. Our bad cylinder was just like the plane, offset in the incorrect direction, so we have what appears to be a smaller cylinder than is actually occurring on our part but our good cylinder was offset the correct direction and lies where it should. Thank you.